One of the easiest ways, cheapest ways to make a stencil is to just tape your paper or hold it to your screen. The problem with this, as you can see, is you do not get very many details. So this isn't the most accurate way, but I have made You can also just place your paper over the top of it. I would tape it down and then trace it that way, but that way is a little bit hard to capture details as well. But if you have a black print and your paper that you're tracing it onto is thin, this method would work. This is one of my favorite methods. If you don't have a light table, you can just Place your printed image on the window and then just press the tape paper that you're trying to trace it onto over it and then trace it that way and again always tape them together so that your papers aren't sliding around. This is another technique you can use if you don't have tra tracing paper, if the window method isn't working, and if your paper is way too thick to try to trace something through from the bottom. And what you're going to do is you are going to rub pencil all over the back of this, and after you do that, you're going to tape it to your paper, and then draw over the lines that you want to keep. So I call it shapes, like all these dark areas are shapes. Tape it to your paper. Always recommend doing that. And then I'll just do a small part so you can kind of see what it would look like with his glasses. Okay, so I'll just kind of show you what that looks like. So see how it traces it through? It just pushes, basically, when you draw on it, you're just pushing the lead onto this paper. Okay, and there we have it. The last method that I use if my paper is really thick and these, uh, the other methods just aren't working well, is to use this um, transfer paper. So this kind of looks like this. It just has graphite on it. You just want to make sure you put it with the graphite down, or else it's not really going to transfer into you. Can, I just bought these at Hobby Lobby. This is the gray color. So you just press it, make sure that the part with graphite on it is face down. Just grab your image, trace. Place it over the top of the tracing paper or the transfer paper. This is the last method. This is the easiest method. I think I said that about three other methods, but this is. <laughs> so like with the other methods, tape it down so it's not sliding around. And then you're gonna trace over the lines and I have just placed my image over my paper. And what happens when you press down and trace over your shapes, it presses a line into the paper underneath. Well, wow.